in Chapter 6 of Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, titled Bend Their Reality, the author discusses the importance of changing the other party's perception of reality in negotiation. Voss explains that by reframing the conversation and challenging the other party's assumptions, you can gain control of the negotiation and achieve a successful outcome. Voss begins by explaining that people often have different perceptions of reality, based on their experiences, biases, and values. In negotiation, this can lead to misunderstandings and impasses. However, by understanding the other party's perspective and challenging their assumptions, you can create a new reality that is more favorable to your interests. Voss provides several techniques for bending the other party's reality in negotiation. For example, he suggests using the calibrated question, which is a question that seeks to uncover the other party's true motivations and concerns. By understanding their perspective, you can reframe the conversation around their interests and offer a solution that is more appealing to them. Another technique that Voss recommends is the labeling technique, which involves identifying and acknowledging the other party's emotions or concerns. This can help to build rapport and establish trust, while also encouraging the other party to share more information about their perspective. Voss also emphasizes the importance of framing in negotiation. By framing the negotiation in a way that is favorable to your interests, you can guide the other party's perception of reality and influence their decision making. For example, if you are negotiating a salary, you could frame the negotiation around the value that you bring to the organization, rather than simply your previous salary or industry standards. Voss concludes the chapter by emphasizing the power of bending reality in negotiation. He explains that by reframing the conversation and challenging the other party's assumptions, you can gain control of the negotiation and achieve a successful outcome. However, he also cautions against using this technique manipulatively or dishonestly. Like any negotiation technique, it should be used in the service of finding a mutually beneficial solution. In Chapter 7 of Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, titled Create an Illusion of Control, the author discusses the importance of giving the other party a sense of control in negotiation, even when you are the one driving the conversation. Voss explains that by giving the other party the illusion of control, you can build rapport, reduce their resistance, and achieve a successful outcome. Voss begins by explaining that people have a natural desire for control and that this desire can often lead to resistance or conflict in negotiation. However, by giving the other party a sense of control, you can reduce their resistance and make them more open to your proposals. One technique that Voss recommends for creating an illusion of control is the acknowledgement technique, which involves acknowledging the other party's perspective and concerns. By doing so, you are giving them a sense of control and respect which can help to build rapport and reduce their resistance. Another technique that Voss recommends is the deference technique, which involves deferring to the other party's expertise or authority. By doing so, you are giving them a sense of control and respect, which can make them more open to your proposals. Voss also emphasizes the importance of asking for the other party's input and opinions. By doing so, you are giving them a sense of control and involvement in the negotiation which can make them more invested in the outcome. Voss provides several other techniques for creating an illusion of control, including allowing the other party to make small decisions and using open-ended questions to encourage their participation. He also cautions against using these techniques manipulatively or dishonestly, as this can damage the relationship and undermine the negotiation. Voss concludes the chapter by emphasizing the power of creating an illusion of control in negotiation. He explains that by giving the other party a sense of control and respect, you can build rapport, reduce their resistance, and achieve a successful outcome. However, he also cautions against overusing this technique or using it in a way that is manipulative or dishonest. Like any negotiation technique, it should be used in the service of finding a mutually beneficial solution. In Chapter 8 of Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, titled Guarantee Execution, the author discusses the importance of ensuring that agreements reached in negotiation are actually carried out. Voss explains that without effective execution, even the best negotiation outcomes will be meaningless. Voss begins by explaining that there are many reasons why agreements fail to be executed, including misunderstandings, miscommunication, 
and changing circumstances. However, he also emphasizes that there are several techniques that can be used to increase the likelihood of successful execution. One technique that Voss recommends is the use of specificity. This involves being very clear and specific about the details of the agreement, including timelines, responsibilities, and consequences. By doing so, you can reduce the risk of misunderstandings or miscommunication. Another technique that Voss recommends is the use of follow-up. This involves following up with the other party after the negotiation to ensure that they are still committed to the agreement and to address any issues or concerns that may arise. By doing so, you can maintain the momentum of the negotiation and increase the likelihood of successful execution. Voss also emphasizes the importance of building trust in negotiation. By building a relationship of trust with the other party, you can increase their commitment to the agreement and reduce the likelihood of any issues or problems arising. Voss provides several other techniques for ensuring successful execution, including the use of contingency agreements and the importance of cultural awareness in cross-cultural negotiations. Voss concludes the chapter by emphasizing the importance of ensuring successful execution in negotiation. He explains that without effective execution, even the best negotiation outcomes will be meaningless. However, by using techniques such as specificity, follow-up, and building trust, you can increase the likelihood of successful execution and achieve a mutually beneficial outcome. In Chapter 9 of Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, titled Bargain Ahead, the author discusses the importance of anticipating and planning for potential obstacles or issues in negotiation. Voss explains that by preparing for these issues in advance, you can increase your chances of success and avoid being caught off guard. Voss begins by emphasizing the importance of understanding the other party's interests and concerns. By understanding what they want and what their priorities are, you can anticipate potential obstacles and plan accordingly. One technique that Voss recommends for bargaining ahead is the use of if-then statements. This involves anticipating potential issues or obstacles and planning a response in advance. For example, if the other party raises a certain objection, then you have a pre-prepared response that addresses that objection. Another technique that Voss recommends is the use of trip wires. This involves identifying specific triggers that may cause the other party to back out of the negotiation or fail to execute the agreement. By identifying these triggers in advance, you can plan for how to address them and prevent them from derailing the negotiation. Voss also emphasizes the importance of having a plan B. This involves identifying alternative options or solutions in case the negotiation fails or encounters unexpected obstacles. By having a backup plan in place, you can avoid being caught off guard and increase your chances of success. Voss provides several other techniques for bargaining ahead, including the use of anchoring and the importance of continuous learning and adaptation throughout the negotiation process. Voss concludes the chapter by emphasizing the importance of preparing for potential obstacles and issues in negotiation. By anticipating these issues and planning for them in advance, you can increase your chances of success and avoid being caught off guard. However, he also cautions against being too rigid or inflexible in your approach, and emphasizes the importance of being adaptable and continuously learning throughout the negotiation process. In Chapter 10 of Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss, titled Find the Black Swan, the author discusses the importance of identifying and addressing unexpected or unpredictable events in negotiation. Voss explains that by identifying and addressing these black swan events, you can avoid being blindsided and increase your chances of success. Voss begins by emphasizing that unexpected events are an inevitable part of any negotiation. These events can include everything from changes in the other party's priorities or interests, to sudden changes in the market or political environment. One technique that Voss recommends for finding the black swan is the use of scenario planning. This involves identifying potential scenarios or events that may occur during the negotiation, and developing a plan for how to address them. By doing so, you can be better prepared to deal with unexpected events as they arise. Another technique that Voss recommends is the use of pre-mortems. This involves imagining that the negotiation has failed, and then working backwards to identify the reasons why it may have failed. By doing so, 
you can identify potential issues or obstacles that may arise and develop a plan for addressing them. Voss also emphasizes the importance of active listening in identifying and addressing black swan events. By actively listening to the other party and paying attention to their words and actions, you may be able to identify unexpected events or issues that may arise. Voss provides several other techniques for finding and addressing black swan events including the use of hedging and the importance of having a plan C. Voss concludes the chapter by emphasizing the importance of being proactive in identifying and addressing black swan events in negotiation. By doing so, you can avoid being blindsided by unexpected events and increase your chances of success. However, he also acknowledges that unexpected events can never be completely eliminated, and emphasizes the importance of being adaptable and flexible in your approach.